incredibly defensive. You can see how easily you could be bitten by such a spider. Venom. One of the deadliest weapons in an animal's arsenal. While varying in function, purpose, and toxicity from creature to creature, one thing is for sure. Most species utilize venom to kill. Snakes, spiders, insects, and more utilize venom to get the edge on their prey. And some species have even evolved venom that can easily kill animals far larger than themselves. Today I'm in Australia on the search for one of the deadliest venomous spiders on Earth. Why? Because that's who I am. My name is Jack, and I dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and deadliest animals alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most dangerous and misunderstood creatures. After searching this forest, I've located a Sydney Funnel Web spider's web. I want to learn more about these animals and what their venom does to humans. But first, I'll have to capture it to take a closer look. Monster Funnel Web entrance underneath this log. I am going to uh, flip this log. You know what? I'm gonna get a container ready because if our funnel web is under here, I gotta act quick. Check that out. One, two, three. Man, look at that web. That is monstrous. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, 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 it's mad. I thought it was gonna be bigger. This is a huge web. Oh gosh, I need to catch this sucker. Look at that, folks, look at this. Come here, come here. It's all right, it's just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here to film you. Oh, 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 folks, 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 folks. Look at this. The iconic Atrax Robustus, the Sydney Funnel Web Spider. It was just, uh, it just erupted out of the ground. I guess it might have been in one of these little, one of these little tubes. I mean, look how extensive some of these webs are. They just crisscross and snake all through this nice kind of loamy soil. It's perfect for these lovely spiders to create extensive burrows to ambush their prey within. But this. This is spectacular, folks. This is the spider we were after. Truly one of the deadliest, one of the most venomous spiders in the world, and easily the most venomous spider in all of Australia. <gasps> My heart's beating. I'm ready to go. Let's film this beautiful spider. These spiders are downright toxic. And while they may not match the Brazilian wandering spiders in drop-for-drop -drop toxicity, there's something insidious about their venom. Through one reason or another, the venom of the Sydney funnel web is extremely dangerous towards primates. Where a dog or a cat could easily survive a large envenomation, a human or other primate could be dead in as little as 15 minutes. The venom affects the nervous system and can cause heart issues, respiratory issues or paralysis, and in some cases, yes, even death. The venom of a large, mature male funnel web is the most dangerous as they have a high yield and proportionally more toxic venom than subadult and other juvenile females. Males are also the most frequently encountered as they have to leave the safety of their burrows to find females to mate with during certain times of year. During this time, the spiders can be quite temperamental and defensive. You don't want to be in between a male funnel web and his important mission of mating. Now, you might know me as the spider bite guy. I've taken everything from a brown recluse bite, giant wolf spiders, and even the fearsome 
Black Widow. But you might be asking yourself, Jack, where do you draw the line? When is it that you look at a spider and you go, no way? Well, my friends, you're about to find out the answer because today we are going to be learning about how dangerous the bite from the Sydney funnel web spider is. It is said that the bite is incredibly painful with large fangs delivering a potent dosage of venom. Once bitten, it is crucial you seek immediate medical attention as the main property of the venom, atraxotoxin, begins to affect the body immediately after being injected. Although these spiders do have the ability of killing us, since the development of antivenom in the 1980s, no fatalities have been recorded. This is thanks to the hard work of Australians who work together to send in mature males for venom milking at approved sites. Without a regular supply of males, the antivenom could not be manufactured and people would once again be at risk of losing their lives from severe envenomations. Now, you may have seen my Brazilian wandering spider video recently that I uploaded last year in which I handle this beautiful Phonutria depilata species of Brazilian wandering spider in the lush and fantastic jungles of Ecuador. We will not be doing that today, folks. Not because the funnel web is any more toxic than the Brazilian wandering spider, which is debated, but that the funnel web has a special penchant for being very, very defensive and quick to bite unlike my experiences with the Brazilian wandering spiders. So we're gonna get into it. We're going to uh, take a close look, get out the macro lens, and we are going to get up close and personal with a Sydney funnel web spider today. Not to be bitten, but to learn about the toxic properties of this animal's venom and what potentially it could do to a human being should a human being become bitten. So if you're interested in learning about what makes the Sydney funnel web spider so brilliantly dangerous, keep watching and we're gonna find out together. Now, this is the iconic Sydney funnel web spider. As you can see, this animal is a force to be reckoned with. Look at that, incredibly defensive, incredibly defensive. You can see how easily you could be bitten by such a spider. If you're digging around in your garden, if you're just kind of working on stuff in your home, around your home, if you're just laying stones, whatever you're doing, where you could be in proximity to one of these spiders, that immediate boom, throw up of a threat display, bearing those fangs, that could easily, easily, easily land you in the hospital with a Sydney funnel web spider bite. But why do these spiders have such powerful venom and such a deadly bite? Well, we're not entirely sure, but it could just be an evolutionary accident. These spiders have potent venom towards invertebrates, which they feed on, and it just so happens to also be deadly to primates as well. Being endemic to Australia, a continent without any native primates other than, I guess, humans, it is unlikely that these spiders evolved this trait in response to any environmental factors. The unlucky side of this byproduct of evolution is that these spiders are common in hot spots of human activity and are regularly found around humans and human dwellings. Not to worry though, they spend the majority of their time underground, and as long as you check your shoes that you left outside before putting them on and watch where you step, you should be completely out of harm's way. If left untreated, it is very likely that a bite from a larger individual not much larger than this one here, could potentially be deadly. And that is absolutely ridiculous to think about, that a spider, not much larger than this one here, could theoretically kill an adult human being. And that's because of some very special properties with this venom. They've evolved a very primate-specific component of their venom that seemingly affects primate mammals more than any other group. Now this is very strange because these animals live on the continent of Australia and nowhere else. And as you might know, Australia is a land of marsupials and has no native primates other than perhaps people, which is a very strange and interesting thing to think about in relation to this spider's defensive venom and defensive bite. 
While I have myself gone toe-to-toe against the dangerous venom of the Black Widow and the flesh-eating bite of the Brown Recluse, I am happy to stay out from under the fangs of today's spider subject. These spiders, like the Wandering Spider and Six-Eyed Sand Spiders, are legitimately capable of causing severe reactions and, potentially, death. The goal of my channel is to educate and bust myths surrounding our misunderstood creatures, not run headfirst into death-defying stunts. However, if you love learning about deadly spiders, pop over to this video here where we take a journey to encounter the deadliest spiders on Earth. Click the video card or pop down to the description below for a link to this adventure. I hope to see you there. Well, my friends, I hope you had a great time learning about the uh, potentially deadly bite of the Sydney funnel web spider. This is easily one of the most iconic spiders here in Australia, and honestly, one of the most iconic and dangerous spiders in all of the world. This is the most impressive arachnid here in the most arid inhabited continent on Earth. So I'm glad I was able to bring you on this adventure. I'm glad I was able to show you some close-up shots of this fantastic little arachnid. And I hope that you enjoyed your time with me today, folks. But that's all I've got for you today. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something about the fantastic Sydney Funnel Web spider and its potentially deadly bite. And I hope that uh, you all at home maybe got something more out of this video. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope I will see you again next week with the next upload. But until then, please take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Well, there you have it. It may come as no surprise that the bite of the Sydney Funnel Web spider is among one of the most dangerous and potentially lethal spider bites on Earth. The primate-specific properties of this venom makes these spiders extremely dangerous towards us humans. And although we have developed an effective treatment, it pays to be aware of the dangers when in close proximity to these arachnids. I hope you enjoyed getting up close and personal with one of the deadliest spiders on Earth. And I hope I was able to clearly show just how dangerous these arachnids can truly be.